Ciao everyone, I am Maika from Cebu, Philippines, and I am here to share a short experience of mine. And last March 12, my school officially declared our classes to be suspended due to the sudden rise in the number of COVID-19 positive cases. Most of the students were staying in the dorms within the campus, so we were all to go home to our families as soon as possible. Some of the students came from other islands, such as Bohol, Siquijor, and Negros. So it was quite difficult for all of us to vacate the dorms immediately. However, it was especially difficult for one of my friends, Pia. A couple of my friends and I noticed that she seemed very restless about something. So we decided to ask her about it. Pia is from Bohol and she doesn't get to see her family as often as she would like to, since she would still need to travel by ferry. She also receives her allowance from her mother, Vaya Pera Padala. That day, she told us that since she had not planned on going home, she was not able to set aside enough money for the ferry. She called her mother earlier that day to ask for more, but the money was scheduled to arrive about two days later. By then, it would have been too late for her to go home since Bohol ports were set to be on lockdown by March 14, exactly two days later. Hearing this, my friends and I became very worried know how long the lockdown would last. She would have to be alone in Cebu and away from her family for the whole duration of the lockdown. So we decided to help her with what we had. My friends and I pitched in as much as we could from our own allowance. And with five people, we had just enough to cover her fare to Bohol and a meal so she wouldn't be hungry during her trip. Pia was very touched by what we did that she started to cry and gathered us all in one big group hug. The next day, she left for Bohol and messaged us as soon as she got there. She told us that she was finally safe at home with her family. Seeing her safe and happy made all of us very happy too.